Sally, and I'm so glad you're joining us for our ongoing reflections on the names of God. This week we're exploring Elroy, which means the God who sees me. This name comes from the story of Hagar, Sarah and Abraham in Genesis 16, verses 13 to 14. In this passage, Hagar encounters God in the desert and names him Elroy, saying, have I really seen God and remained alive after seeing him? It's a really powerful moment that reminds us that God is intimately aware of our struggles. Have you ever felt like you just can't take it anymore? Maybe you've faced a problem that feels insurmountable, or you've wanted to run away and hide from everything. Well, that's exactly how Hagar found herself, alone, in the middle of the desert, talking with God. This part of the story starts when Sarah, in her desperation to have a family, gives her maid to Hagar, gives her maid Hagar to Abram. When Hagar becomes pregnant, it inevitably leads to tension between her and Sarah, causing Hagar to flee into the wilderness. And it's in that vulnerable place that she meets God. Hagar was a woman who found herself in the middle of a messy situation. She felt invisible. She wasn't wealthy, important, or full of faith, and yet God knew her. Isn't it comforting to realise that even when we feel unnoticed, God sees us? Have you ever felt alone in, even in a crowd? Or found yourself in a tough situation where you felt trapped and just wanted to escape? I know I have. Those moments when it feels like the world is against us can be incredibly isolating. Just like Hagar, we sometimes want God to swoop in and fix everything. But God's response to her wasn't to wave a magic wand and make everything all right, or change her circumstances, or even the attitudes of the people in them. Instead, he did something far more honest and valuable. He asked her to return and face her challenges head on, this time with the assurance that he sees her and is with her every step of the way. The hope God offered Hagar is the same hope that he offers us today. He was, then, remains and always will be, El Roy, the God who sees me, no matter how insignificant we may feel. That's massive. God sees us. He knows us by name and loves us deeply. There isn't a detail of our lives that escapes his attention. As Matthew 10.30 reminds us, he even knows the number of hairs on our head. We are never alone. He walks with us through the pain and joy alike. All we need to do is to reach out to him. And if you're not sure you can do that right now, that's okay too. Just sit in his presence. As St Paul tells us in Romans 8.26, the Holy Spirit is there to help us in our weakness interceding for us in ways that words can't express. So, wherever you are this week, whatever you're feeling, have hope and remember that El Roy sees you. Let's pray. Lord, you showed Hagar that you see her and understand her struggles. Help us to remember that you always see us too. You know our challenges and our hearts. Help us to trust that you will work through our difficulties and bless us in ways we can't imagine. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed week. And if you need to talk or connect, don't hesitate to reach out to us or anyone on the clergy team. We hope to see you at a service soon.